everyone and welcome back to another video so today's video is a wedding guest makeup get ready with me me and matt were going to our friend's wedding and i thought it'd be a really good opportunity to film my wedding guest makeup look i'm really hoping you guys enjoy this video it's a super soft and simple makeup look as you guys can see and it's perfect because it's going to go with every single outfit that you could possibly wear for a wedding or just for any occasion in general if you guys would like to see how i created this this look please keep watching so i'm gonna start with eyes today just because i was using a glitter pigment and didn't want any glitter fallout so to begin with i am taking the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze i'd seen this hack online where it says you're meant to coat your brows completely with the brow wax so that they last better to be honest it just lasted the exact same just thought i'd give it a go then for eye base, I'm going in with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2. This is my favourite eye base. I use it literally in every single video. It is lovely. I am applying the P. Louise base all over the lid and then really gently buffing it just underneath my brows as well. I wanted a super soft look. I didn't want to carve out under my brows really harsh today. Just something nice and soft. For transition shade today, I'm going to go in with the bronzer shade from the Smashbox Step by Step Contour Kit. And I'm running this through my crease and then also concentrating some on the outer corner of my eye as well. I'm just building this shade up and then in between building up the pigment, I'm going in with a clean, soft blending brush, just making sure that all the edges are nice and blended. I am now taking Mocha from Makeup Geek and I'm applying this using a pencil brush and as you guys can see here I'm essentially using this as a little bit of liner and then also just to deepen up the outer corner of my eye as well. I'm being very precise in where I'm applying this shadow as I didn't want to create a full liner so I'm just making sure that I'm concentrating this to the outer corner. I just didn't want to create a full liner. I wanted it to be as soft as possible and I'm only bringing this in about halfway. Next up, I'm taking the Ombre Black Star Stick from By Terry, and this is in the shade Frozen Quartz, and I'm just applying a little bit to my brush and then popping this on the first half of my lid. This has such a gorgeous shimmer to it, and it's also quite tacky, so this acted as my primer for my glitter pigment mix that I created as well, so that's what I'm applying here. And this was a mix of Wish Pigment from Peaches and Cream and also MAC reflex gold i love these two when they are applied together they make the most gorgeous pigment mix To add a tiny little bit of liner to my eyes, I'm going in with Dark Roast from Makeup Geek and I'm just applying a very thin line. For mascara, I'm taking the Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara and I'm also making sure that I'm using a waterproof mascara. The best tip I can give to you guys for wedding guest makeup is to ensure that you're using a waterproof mascara. Whether you think you're going to get emotional or not, it's really important to make sure that you're wearing a waterproof mascara just in case. 
For foundation, I'm taking NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Mont Blanc, and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I also applied a little bit to my neck as well, just to make sure that everything was nice and matching. And to begin with, I'm applying this using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Once I've applied it all over my base, I then go in with a sponge. I always do this just to make sure that the foundation is nice and pressed into my skin, and this also helps get rid of any excess foundation. I'd also made sure that I'd prepped and primed my skin prior to my makeup as well so I already had my moisturiser, my skincare and that was sinking in for a little bit beforehand just to make sure that my skin was nice and prepped ready for my makeup application. Next up I'm going in with concealer and this is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1. So I'm just applying this to the areas that I need it. So my under eyes then also using it to brighten my chin just above my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose as well. So again I'm just using the same process that I did for my foundation. So I'm starting off by using a brush and then going in with a sponge. But for my under eye concealer I started off with a sponge just to get the edges nice and blended out and then I go in with this brush here this is from Morphe and it is the M428 brush and this is perfect for blending out your under eye concealer next up I'm taking the Saint Look setting spray and just mist in that all over my face my skin was very dry on this day so I just wanted to add a little bit of extra hydration throughout different steps of my makeup and then I'm just patting that in using a sponge I'm then going in with the Maybelline fit me press powder in the shade 102 even though my skin was very dry this time I wanted to make sure that my makeup was gonna last all day so I did go ahead and just pop a really small amount of pressed powder all over my face For bronzer, I'm using my Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Kit and I'm taking the bronzer shade and applying this to my cheekbones, my temple area and then also my forehead. This is just my favourite contour kit in the world. I love it so much. It's such a beautiful contour kit. I'm just using this to warm up my skin a little bit, add a little bit of colour into my skin. I'm also adding a little bit more than what I usually would just so that it lasts all day. Obviously, this is going to sink into my skin as the day goes on. So I'm applying a little bit more than what I usually would. I'm then going in with the contour shade and then just applying this to the hollows of my cheeks. For blush, I'm taking Benefit Dandelion Blush and I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks and then blending this up towards my contour and my bronzer. Also applied a little bit to the tip of my nose as well. This is just the most gorgeous baby pink shade of blush. Next up, I'm taking Illamasqua Beyond Powder in the shade Oh My God. This is such a beautiful highlighter. I love it so much and just gives you this really nice glow and I felt like it went really nicely with the rest of my makeup as well. I'm now just applying some lashes, adding the finishing touches. I can't remember what lashes these are, but they were very nice. They're wispy lashes, just something quite natural. I didn't want to go for anything too full or whatnot, just something quite nice and natural to go with my outfit and the rest of my makeup. Then to finish off my eyes, I just applied a little bit of the highlighter to my inner corners and then I decided to go in with a little bit more bronzer just because I wanted to make sure this was going to last all day and look perfect. So I'm just applying a little bit more of that bronzer.
I'm now going in with the St. Lux setting spray and just misting this all over my face. I then went off to go and get dressed, do my hair and whatnot. I just had my hair straight and kind of like just had it back behind my ears. For my lip colour, I'm going in with Tea and Cookies from NYX. And then I went in with a lip gloss from Soap and Glory, but I really can't remember the name of it. I'm really sorry. I feel like it's called Bare Enough, but I can't remember. And here we have the finished makeup look along with my dress as well. This dress is from, I saw it first, I've had it for quite a while, I've wore it to another wedding. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you guys don't already, make sure you follow me over on my Instagram, my TikTok, on my social medias. I always leave them linked down below for you guys. I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.